Hello and welcome to Martin Maths. We're doing some division of whole numbers and looking to have a discussion about long division as well. So let's start with division where we know our times tables. So let's say we want to do 27 divided by 3. If you know your times tables, you know that it's 9 because 9 times 3 is 27. So that's the first idea is to know your times tables know when numbers are multiples of what we're dividing by. Let's take a number that we don't necessarily know, say 217, and we want to divide that by 7. We'll use this symbol, which a lot of people call the bus stop, we put 217 under there. And we divide that by 7, 7 goes there, and we go from left to right now, rather than, say, times and adding, where we look at the units first. 7 doesn't go into 2, but it does go into 21. It goes into 21 three times, with no remainder, luckily. And then it goes into 7 once. So I know that 217 is 31 times 7. And I could check that on a calculator. Uh, so we're fine there. So that's two techniques, either knowing our times tables or using this bus stop method. Now, some students know about a thing called short division, so let's take a number like 672, and let's divide that by 7. I'm choosing 7 a lot because it's not the easiest times table to know. I think people know the 2 times table, the 5 times table, and a lot of the even times tables are straightforward. And the 9 times table, there are lots of techniques. If you look at my other videos, you know, uh, using your fingers or seeing how they reflect, whereas the 7 is different, difficult or different times table. So let's do this one and divide 672 by 7. We'll do the bus stop method again. 7 doesn't go into 6. It does go into 67 9 times, because 9 times 7 is 63, leaving me a remainder of 4. And in short division, we put the 4 there. And then 7 goes into 42 6 times. Now, there's not really much difference between short division and long division, other than how we set it out. So if I were to do that same sum using long division, all I'm going to do is spell out all my steps below that uh, bus stop, as it were. So 7 doesn't go into 6, it does go into 67 9 times, because 9 times 7 is 63. And I put that sum there. So all I'm doing is doing the sum that gets me that 4, but doing it explicitly. 67 minus 63 is 4. I bring that 2 down, I get 42. 7 goes into 42, and I know this because of my times tables, 6 times. 6 times 7 is 42. Subtract that, and I know that there's no remainder, and it's exactly 96, which I knew from that. So that's the short division, and that's the long division. So there you go. Those are the two techniques. But you're really doing the same maths. It's just how you write it. In short division, all I've done is just cramped all that information up there. Okay, so whiteboard's getting a little bit uh, crammed, but let's take another number and let's call this 27,500. And let's divide that by 4. I'll do it in both techniques again. So in short division, do it like this. 4 doesn't go into 2, 4 does go into 27 6 times, uh, 6 times 4 is 24, leaving me a 3, 4 does go into 35 8 times, uh, leaving me a 3, 4 does go into 30 7 times, leaving me a 2, 4 does go into 25 times. Okay, I'm lucky, I'm not getting any remainder, but it doesn't matter if we're in primary school where we deal with the remainders, put those there. If we're in secondary school, we're starting to look at decimal places, we just put, we just go into the, the decimal places by putting the decimal point there. Okay, so that's the short division for that one. Now let's look at long division with the same number. And again, I'm going to do exactly the same maths. I'm just going to set it out differently. So 27, 1,500 divided by 4. 4 goes into 27. 6 times. 6 times 4 is 24. 
do a subtraction there. 27 minus 24 is 3. Bring that 5 down, and I get 35, which is that little 35 there. 4 goes into 35 8 times. 4 times 8 is 32. 35 minus 32 is 3. Bring the next place value 0 down. That's that 30 we had there. Okay, so this is all the, the long division compared to the short division. But as you can see, it is the same. Uh, 4 goes into 30 7 times. 7 times 4 is 28. 30 minus 28 is 2. Bring that final 0 down. 4 goes into 25 times. We just squeeze in a 0. 4 times 5 is 20. And I know there's no remainder there. And I get the same number as I expect. As you can see, long division, just because it I write out a longer sum. All I've done with short division is put these 20, 30, 35 up inside that bus stop, as it were. Okay. Uh, strangely enough, the next time you see long division is actually in um, polynomial division in A-level maths. So kind of, it seems to be forgotten right through secondary school and then re-emerges in A-level. Uh, when you need to do long division for some algebra. Um, but it's the same technique there, just with algebra rather than numbers. There we go. That's some examples of short and long, short and long division, or knowing our times tables. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.